right, so you've watched the video and you've learned a little bit about how to use quotation marks and how to use do the punctuation inside or outside the quotation marks. So here are a couple of um, examples. So let's go, yelled mom as she grabbed her keys and headed out the door. In this sentence, you can notice that the quotation marks are around what mom said. There's no comma though, because really what mom said is let's go with an exclamation point. So you put the exclamation point here um, so that you know how she said it. But the end of the sentence is actually here at the period. Oh, on the next one, mom let out a long sigh as she mumbled something under her breath. Do you see any quotation marks here? No, because she actually didn't say anything. This sentence is just telling you that she um, let out a long sigh. Let's look at the next slide. We are going to be late for school, said mom shaking her head. So notice in this sentence, there's a comma at the end of the second quotation mark. So here's the beginning of the sentence, and this is what mom is saying. And she goes along and she goes along and she goes along. And then there's a comma here, said mom, shaking her head. This comma is here because it takes the place of a period. It's letting the reader know that this is that you should pause just a tiny bit before you say said mom. So often we put a comma on the inside of our um, of our quotation marks like that. And now it's going to I'm going to let you have a turn to see if you can put in draw in some quotation marks and some punctuation in these four sentences. So use your drawing tools to add quotation marks around what was said and maybe put a comma in place if you need to.